Politico's congressional, congressional reporter, Jake Sherman, joins us from our Washington bureau. Good morning to you, Jake. Good morning. So give us the very latest. Where does the Senate right now stand on this bill? It's definitely steaming toward uh, passage. On Monday, there's going to be a vote on this border security provision, which is expected to get 10 to 15 Republicans. And it's, it's expected to really kind of create a glide path in the Senate. But again, that does not help things in the House of Representatives. Things are very tough there. There's a lot of Republicans who have been wholeheartedly against immigration reform, would like to toughen uh, security on the border, but they have no interest in a pathway to citizenship. So it's still a rocky path. I think people on both both sides of the aisle think that the deadline is really at the end of December. So we really won't see this pass, if at all, until the end of the year. This is a this is a significantly beefed up bill, Jake, isn't it? I mean, this border surge proposal, we saw some of the details there, 20,000 agents, 700 miles of fence. But you think the House is still not going to buy it? I think probably not. Uh, they just want to do border security. That's what their, their preference is. They just want to beef up security on the border. They don't want to deal, a lot of them, with increased visas, a pathway to citizenship. But this is a, it's definitely a carrot for some moderate House Republicans who want to see a, a big comprehensive reform bill. Obviously, a lot more money for border security is important for, for them, but a comprehensive package is not as important. You obviously mentioned the Republicans there. The big question is, will they get the support they need, the 70 votes we've heard so much about? The idea of 70 votes is really kind of a chest-thumping idea, that they could get 70 votes and it will ease passage in the House. But there's been some skepticism about kind of the need for that. If, if Republicans in the House aren't going to support it at the end, why is it important to get 70 votes? But this will help. If, if they can get the 15 votes that they're talking about because of this beefed-up border security provision, it's important and, and it's feasible. It's absolutely possible that they do get to 70 votes. Jake, how important is this immigration bill to Republicans, do you think, given that there are particular particularly some moderates in the party who are concerned about how badly they lost Hispanics in the last election. There are kind of two minds here. There's one mind that says, yes, we have to show that we're not ham-handed dealing with uh, immigrants and immigration reform, and we need to bring more people into the party. But the conservative wing of the party, people like Steve King of Iowa and some of the more the firebrands of the party say, listen, this is bad policy. We shouldn't pass bad policy for political reasons. So that's kind of the, the push and pull that we're seeing, and we're gonna, it's going to drive the narrative for the rest of the year, which is going to be a, a lot of talk about immigration right up until New Year's Eve, we hope, we think. All right, so Jake, we won't hold you to this number, but just quickly, what are the odds you think this will actually get passed? Hold me, I like accountability, but uh, <laughs> I think it's a little bit better than 50-50 at this point. And I know that's probably the opposite of what most people think, but the Republican House is a very difficult ground for this, this reform bill. Right, Jake Sherman, Washington, thank you. Thank you.